Sup and good day gamers, a formal bust here with the council, a first impression of it at least, and before we get into it, my sponsor and your sponsor, H2O, drink it up or die. Oh, delicious. This is uh, the council, uh, at least first impression of it as I said, released in March of 2018, developed by Big Bad Wolf and publish published by Focus Home Interactive. According to Steam, the description is, experience a, native, uh, a narrative adventure where your choices and character growth truly matter. We'll see. As a member of a uh, 1793 secret society, live a tale of intrigue and manipulation on the hunt for your missing mother. Okay. Uh, it is a free to play game for the first episode. Uh, although you can purchase all five episodes for currently $24.99 USD uh, on Steam. You cannot buy episodes individually because they apparently don't do that anymore. I guess, you know, they finished their run of the episodes and so they're selling them as one bundle only. Uh, it is tagged on Steam as an adventure, RPG, choices matter, and story rich. Once again, Steam, choices matter really isn't a genre but oh well all right let's get into the save game one i don't have any other save games there's no settings here i don't see any settings if i press exit it just takes me back to the you know load screen or the you know drop screen after it loads you in this game does warn you about um has has some very quick warnings about the fact that this is not you know a f a, a, a fact-based uh game and also that, you know, there are some points in the game that may cause uh, people with uh, 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 seizures and such that uh, they might have, you know, issues with the light and stuff. So be aware of that. And they could play that warning for longer. Uh, in, on my computer, at least, it was a good two-second warning that I barely got the first of it read. But let's get into the game and see if there's more settings and then we'll get into the full gameplay. All right, before that starts. Okay, so there's a back to menu, options, resume. Let's go to options. Okay, not much. Uh, let's do master volume up. Voices will be the highest. Sound effects, 90. And let's just bump it. Do not like these. These are very... It seems like whenever I touch on them, it jumps over to the right. Subtitles on, so that's good. Uh, controls. So, not really controls, so... Really wish this game would have more in the settings department, but alas, here we go. We'll get back into it, and I'll stop interrupting with uh, settings and such. getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? 
Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Burchard! Von Burchard! Hmm? Listen! Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Well, let's trust her. She is my mother after all. Please, be my guest mother. Mm. Ah. Ah. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm, means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No, even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchert. Okay, well, as you can see, so far, characters and their animations are a little bit uncanny valley. Just jumping forward one month, all right? Ah, Lord Mort Mortimer's got a whole island to himself. done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer, and now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? I'll say, uh, yeah, business. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. 
to get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Yeah, turn the question back on him. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. Mm. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Are you all right? So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother, no, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you... if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But... I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't! No! No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay... You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? <laughs> I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? Okay. I absolutely need to find you, Mother. So, already cleaned off the blood off my face, good to know. Lots of correspondence, I guess. I don't know if you can interact with anything, but the game's at least looking better so far than it did in that intro demo sequence. Inventory. Anything? Anything with inventory. Well, I have stuff in my inventory, but I do not know where or how to, how to access it, okay? Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh, so, oh, this seems a very shoehorned in class. Diplomat shines in society, talented speaker. He avoids fox pass, and he can convince those... With whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predilection. Occultist, master of de deception. 
Convinced of the importance of knowledge, she has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. Detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every small detail in his surroundings as well as, as, uh, as in people he questions. Hands-on man does not shy away from the direct approach. So... I don't know, Louis seems like a detective to me. Ooh, skills, questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility, manipulation, okay. Politics, okay, yeah. Well, let's go detective then. And skills, I have three points. Okay, so... Maybe you can level into stuff later. Manipulation. I don't know why I have a thing already. Ah! So I don't even need to, uh... I don't even need to go into these other things to add skill points. All right. Psychology. Open book. Notice noteworthy details are oddly placed items. Okay, so I got three points. Oh, this is weird. Four points left before level two. Four points left. Before. This is an interesting thing. Let's go with psychology, or, nah, let's just max out one stat to begin with. 11 points left before level 3, so it seems there's a multi-level, multi-skill points and uh, per level that you can get to. And it seems that you maybe get locked out of what skill points you can put where after certain levels. Interesting. Alright, let's, let's validate that and move on. Well... Over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases, like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. It seems like it might matter. Opportunities or skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. To act. Okay, effort points to act skill required for the situation you just need to have unlocked. Okay, so... Oh. Oh. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Oh gosh, so everyone has personalities, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one ever point back. Okay. So, enter. Oh, we can't access it now. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Okay, talents when carrying out certain actions, remember to review their unlock conditions and objects, yada yada yada. Alright, yep, thank you. Okay, anything else out here? Something there, oh. Must be an incredible view from up there. 
Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Okay. Royal Jelly restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. All right. Press Honey, one to use. The remedy of the gods. Cannot. Oh, you can run. You can even run this game. Let's check out over. Oh, good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moraz de Richet. Monsieur de Richet. Delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir, everyone is waiting for you at the manor. Sir Holm insists on welcoming you in person. Since your mother went missing, everyone has been concerned about finding her. Who is Sir Holm? A close friend of Lord Mortimer's. Please, rest assured, sir, it won't take us long to find your revered mother. Indeed, we are searching the caves again because lights were seen at the wharf just last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Uh, your skills give you access to you get a higher skill level, they lower the cost in effort points. Okay, browse your skills, use character. Menu. Okay. And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials SDR. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. So I can only do one thing. Okay. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please, I... And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now. It is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. Creepy that the servants are wearing... your handkerchief, oh, sorry. Mother. He must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Oh, let's access menu so we can look at that. So, okay, pre-thorough menu. Inventory. Oh. Can I use that or I just I just keep that forever? Yep, I just keep that forever then. All right. Uh, mother's handkerchief, SDR. Emily's handkerchief and Mortimer's invitation, yada yada yada. Okay, so rather large inventory. Journal. Che, to be discovered, yada yada yada. French aristocrat, 34 years. Okay, cool. Emily Hillsborough. Immunity is logic. Good thing I chose, you know, some of that to be discovered. Okay. Me, Louis. Yeah, gay. Okay, so I don't know anything about him. Distinguished speaker. Mark throughout his career. Cool, cool. Doesn't seem like there's too many people. What is this? Six, uh, yeah, 12, 13, 14. 14 characters in the game then. Servants being one of them. So, vulnerable to logic and questioning. Very good. Map. Okay. The only way out. 
So it's just pier, staircase. Okay, staircase goes up. Controls seem somewhat weird, but oh well. Character. All right, this is back to my character. Psychology. Need to unlock logic, I guess. Uh, talents. Policing mastery. Okay. So I guess these are based on my skills. Has the fake, has the fake elements displayed during the opportunity. Okay, nice. Very lots of lots of different talents. Uh, well, you know, I'm sure you can get into these if you want to, but it seems like they make you make it easier on certain parts of the gameplay. Traits. Charismatic presence, you gain one skill point manipulation. You have always been charismatic, okay. Trusting, okay, one point psychology. That's what gave me the psychology. This is what gave me manipulation. Guess those from the beginning of the game. Detective, okay. So traits, I guess, you pick up along the way and are given to you based on your class. Let's check, yeah. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Why not? This might just come in handy. It's a big old heavy iron bar. <laughs> Why wouldn't I take it? So, yeah, it looks like every scene or whatever you have a limited amount of uh, these little... Uh, what they call them? Effort points, I believe? Yeah, so we'll check out broken barrels, they said, but I don't see any broken ones. Ah, letters, though. Let's see what's hidden inside. Find a clue, difficulty three, logic one, examine the letters one at a time. Ah, uh, let's go with this. Ah, one of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order, and I'd recognize your handwriting anywhere, mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend, Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You never talk to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think, Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? Why not? I can't do it. This is, why even show it to me then? I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But I just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. All right, four more points. Let's spend them. Um, I want to go down that other pathway real quick. If it will let me. Ah, big iron gate with a broken bar. Hmm. Interesting. It's locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Hmm. Why not? Clearly, I'm not much for manual labor. See if I can get it open another way. Okay, gonna have to find a key. Okay, let's try it. Hey, there we go. There we are. See, iron bar, helpful, y'all. Iron bar, helpful. Okay, anything over here? A lot of bottles. A pistol case. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Yeah, we also haven't yet been told if that was your first vision ever. 
Royal jelly. Okay, good. Check this out. Hmm. This wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh huh. What do we hear? It's cannon powder. Uh, locked. Okay. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear. Amber fragments. Each time you pick up four of them, increase your maximum effort points by one. Okay. Amber crystals. So it looks like picking up items doesn't cost anything, but investigating stuff does. Gonna have to increase my effort points, though. I don't know what else I want to investigate here, though. That barrel seems useless. I think we're. I think I'm good down here. I don't know what else I would investigate. Maybe what is this? What is this? Item. Royal jelly. Okay. It's an investigation thing. I think I'm good down here. Let's just head upstairs then. I know we're kind of getting into this, and I really don't mean to, since it is just... Actually, no. Let's investigate two more things. See if we restore in the next area. I think this chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Anything? Oh, there's the rope. Some rope? Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. Nope. Looks like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. Ah. A Latin inscription. Annesis. Mi fili quantilia produncia mundus regatur. Uh, so I can't translate, but I need linguistics or occultism. What is this, next area? Yep, take the stairs! Yeah, I realize I'm really getting into this, but... I mean, we're only gonna... We're gonna spend less than an hour on it, but... I mean, I don't know what else there is in the game. How mechanics did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Money. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada de Riche, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Okay, so confrontations. Like I said, not sure how many mechanics and gameplay things there are left. During a confrontation, sorry about that. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Each confrontation displays an interface. Okay, yada yada. Well, thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Wow. Hard choice. Certainly, Your Eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew, my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. 
She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? Yeah. If you know my mother, you will understand that I cannot answer you, Your Eminence. I'm sorry, but... Do not worry, my son. I perfectly understand, and I expected nothing less from you. Discretion and secrecy are both pillars of the organizations for which we work. You are the worthy son of Sarah. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Ah, uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Yeah. You can count on me. Don't worry, Your Eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's reputation. As her son, I will defend the Dorishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect nothing less. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Oh, there's always the last step. For the last step of the confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you give a right one or you have no blunders left. Okay, because I have three blunders. Okay, I have three chances. Okay. It's the only one I got. I swear by the almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Riche. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the cursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, Hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here. The letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well okay. played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. So I guess confrontations, I don't get to do the tells or whatever. Alright. Letter sealed. I think we'll keep it sealed for a while. Devil's Thorn grants you the exalted state. You temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice in a conversation. You cannot carry more than five. Okay, another item. We're going to just check this whole parlor area. So yeah, the game, like I said, mechanic-wise, seems to be conversational-based. Can't go through there. I guess it's locked. And there is some exploration in small areas. Ooh, a book. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Just take it. Just take the book. Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure at the start of each quest. 
Okay, so you start to read your quest, you can choose what you read, and gain permanent skill points. Okay, so you don't just gain it by reading it, you have to actually pick it up and read it. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richer. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you'll forgive my indiscretion? Mm, yeah. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Hmm. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Holm, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richer, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Invent something. Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards. And we'll take a moment to speak about her. Okay, so you can get more than one. You just have to Good be quick. Lord, Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother, but on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Eh, let's stick with Washington. Let's see what Washington has to say. 
Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. And you, Emily, what do you think of my mother? I only know her through the Order. The one time we met, we only exchanged a few words in a corridor of Parliament. And was the exchange courteous or impassioned? I'm not sure if I understand. Was there any reason for her to be angry with you? Under other circumstances, I would slap your face for even asking, but I'll put your lack of tact down to her disappearance. Know that your mother is a woman I would love to work with. Her reputation is entirely deserved. Mr. Washington will be able to tell you more. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. Well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? Hmm. My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Mic bump, sorry, once again. Uh, which one are we going with? Yeah. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir Holm, who was that young lady with you? Ah. Uh, 
Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Oh, let's get him. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. End of the day, I guess. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Now let's investigate. You got two more effort points left. What's down here? Okay, that's barred. What's this say? Is Napoleon Bonaparte? Of course. Yeah. Let's have get Bonaparte a room. So Jacques Perru. Jacques Perru. And... I guess this is just the other staircase from the other side. Okay. Oh, what's that? Golden elixir. Cures all your negative alterations. Can I carry more than five? Okay. Oh, something over here. Book, book, book. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Okay. And right here. The quorum guide. Okay. We'll read books later. End of the other corridor, but we'll check out this whole place. I will have to say... Uh, it, it's a pretty, you know, it's okay. The game looks fine. It's a little bit dated. Probably looked a little bit dated in 2018 as well. But it runs fine. I'm running at 60 FPS this whole time. Not dipping too much at all, if anything. I hope this loops around. If not, I gotta run all the way back. Uh, mechanics are a little janky. Seems to be quite many different games. What, what do we have? The... All the way from the, uh, like, debating, uh, what would they call it? Confrontations. Standard talking with people, as well as, I mean, with any. President George Washington. With any, uh, you know, cho uh, multiple choice game, I always feel like I'm missing stuff. Even if I'm, oh, what's this? What's this? Nice. Collector coins. They, I guess I collect them. Yeah, we'll get to my room and call it a review or a first impression because th we're really getting long into this game. I don't know how long each episode is. Is this me? That's me. Hey. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? Mmm, subterfuge. I'm gonna leave it closed. Damn, can't wait to open it, but I gave my word to Piaggi, so... Too bad. I'll wait until I hand it to Mother. Wow, nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Oh, I got a big old balcony. There's not a jump option. 
Uh, Carmelite Water gives you the focus state. You, uh, your next skill will cost no effort. You can you're not carry more than five. Okay, cool. Honey, the remedy of the gods. Oh, a drachma. This my room? This is not. Oh, this is my room. It's just further away. Well, I guess I'm going to bed. So, missed some stuck on, stuff on the docks, didn't pick up the book on the quay. That is annoying. I, I, li I like that they do it, and I also don't like that they do it. Oh, this is all of episode one? Oh, wow. If that is all of episode one, that is very, very, very short. What is that, five hours of uh, content then? Let's see if we can level up. Okay. I have four points. Logic. Vigilance. Questioning, agility. It's too logic, too little. Okay, validate that. Manuscripts. Okay. Etiquette. Conviction. Psychology. Cannot be equipped. Let's go with etiquette. With high society. Can I do multiple? No. Yeah, I can only equip one. So this is the leveling up process and the manuscript process. Oh, I guess I didn't drink any alcohol before I went to bed. Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durache's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. Nighttime stroll, Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Hmm. 
bloody nose again. <laughs> I'm coming. All right, we're not going to get into this. I think we'll leave the game here. Like I said, mechanics-wise, seems fine. Uh, talk to people, figure out, you know, what's going on. Very murder mystery-ish. I think that's the main thing it's got going for it, is the murder mystery bit of it. It, you know. Graphically, it's okay. Characters look a little bit funky and everything, and so do the cutscenes, but, you know. It's all about the RPG elements and all about changing and figuring out what's going on. And I'm sure replaying it and finding different endings. So, I mean, if you're interested, feel free to check it out. Uh, I do not know how long each episode is, but episode one at least has an hour of content in it. So, there's that. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I don't have much to say on this. I will probably not be doing a full... I, I probably will not be doing a full review. Just doesn't really seem to be something I'm interested in. But yeah. I've been a formal bust, thank you very much, and uh, until next time gamers, take care of yourselves and drink some H2O.